Have a nice day to all you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video episode, we have uh, L200 here. 45.6 engine, 2.5 liters, single overhead cam. The engine is emitting black smoke, especially during acceleration. So now, we're going to remove the four pieces injectors then we will uh, check the pressure the spray pattern and if the pressure is uh, filled then we will dismantle the nozzle and we will uh, clean the nozzle tip for the carbon deposit we already adjust the injection pump the injection pump timing but still emitting black smoke so we have to check first our four pieces injectors okay disconnect the negative and the positive terminal and the battery clamp so that we can remove the battery and then we can easily remove the delivery pipe from our injection pump going to our injectors. Okay. We are using 17mm open range. Now we are losing the nut of the our de delivery pipe to the injector nozzle. Then the last one, number four, we will deliver five. We're going to remove. Then the return hose of our uh, injectors going to injection pump. We have to remove also. Then the nut of our uh, injector nozzle for pieces. So this is uh, 
17 mm we will use socket wrench 17 mm then ratchet handle Then we will remove the return pipe of our injectors. Okay, then we are going to re remove our injectors. We are using 22 mm deep socket and extension bar together the power handle. This is the one number one we already removed. Then the second one. Okay, the second one. And the last one, the port. Now we will uh, dismantle our uh, injector nozzle. We'll go uh, use this uh, 19 mm combination rinse and 22 mm combination rinse. We'll dismantle one by one, then we will clean the nozzle tip because there's a lot of carbon deposit, okay? So there is spring inside. So this is the nozzle tip. So we're going, going to clean our nozzle. This one. We're going to use clean diesel fuel. Okay? We use uh, Scott Sprite to remove the carbon deposit in our nozzle tip. We will name these parts of our injector nozzle. This is retainer nut. Nozzle body. Spacer Spacer 
spring set nasal spring shim and nasal holder body now we will going to assemble our injector our nasal body put the nasal tip inside the spacer the groove must be on top the spring set nasal spring the spacer on top okay and the nozzle holder okay then just slide put it down and we'll put the retaining nut okay so that's the proper way how to assemble our injector nozzle okay Okay, we'll put in our bench vise and tight a little bit. Then we'll use deep socket 19 mm. I inserted the uh, injector nozzle here in our uh, injector tester. Okay, so we will uh, try our uh, injector nozzle. So we will uh, close the bulb. Then we will pump two to three times to bleed the air bubbles. Okay. Then we will open the bulb. Then we will take the reading. So the standard value is 15,190 kilopascal to 16,180 kilopascal. So it must be here. This is 15. So 10, 15, and this is 20. Uh, must be the value of our injector nozzle so we will try to check monitor the pressure if we can reach the standard value okay so less than 14,000 kilopascal so under the pressure are guys so we have to remove and dismantle our injector then we will uh, add adjusting shim around 0 0.1 mm okay now we will dismantle all our injectors then we will add adjusting shim from 0 0.1 mm Okay. So this is the one the adjusting shim. So there are thin shims for adjustment with thickness in the range of from 0 0.10 to 0 0.80 mm when the shim thickness is increased by 0 0.1 mm 
the fuel injection initial pressure increased by 2,350 kilopascal. So, 0.1 mm is enough to reach the 15,190 kilopascal because uh, we got the pressure as we check the pressure of our uh, injector is around more than 13,000 so we'll uh, put this adjusting shim so that we can reach the standard value okay so now we will going to assemble this is our nozzle body the spacer like this position the spring set the nozzle spring then the shim the additional shim I put on top then we'll put the nozzle holder body we'll insert inside okay then we'll put the retaining nut okay then we will torque at uh, around 45 newton meter okay so i put in our bench vise we'll use 19 mm and torque wrench I install already the injector nozzle here in our uh, injector tester. So we will uh, close the bulb. Then we will pump two to three times to bleed the air bubbles. Okay. Then we will open the bulb. Then we will take the reading. We will try to monitor the pressure after we install additional adjusting shim 1 mm. So we'll try how much the pressure. So okay, it's reached the 15,000 more. Then it spray the muscle okay slowly so okay it reached more than 15,000 before the injector spray now we are going to install our injectors then we will complete all the related parts we remove so that we can complete our video tutorial. That's all for today for our tutorial thank you for watching and if you learn a lot in this video tutorial don't forget to subscribe to our channel god bless everyone